Hey everyone, how y'all hanging? So uh, we're officially into Kwanzaa now, um, the day after Christmas. So for those that honor Kwanzaa, Merry Kwanzaa. I do have uh, the candelabra for the seven days of uh, Kwanzaa. I haven't set it up here this year because um, I don't have any room. But um, I follow Kwanzaa. Um, I have. I'm not really following it this year. So, so if someone were to write me, so what is today for? What is today's significance? I don't forgot. The seven days each are significant to something I've forgotten. But I wanted to say Merry Christmas again. And it's been a very, very nice holiday. One that I frankly wish wouldn't end. And even though it's Monday, um, I... I'm back at work. I'm on my lunch break. I know that many of you are not, but it still doesn't feel like a Monday. It still feels like a holiday or a Sunday or something. And um, this year has been so weird. I just wish this holiday wouldn't end. How about you folks? Do you feel me? I have a feeling I'm not the only one that has this feeling. It's been a s interesting year, strange, good, and and weird. And I just kind of wish that the holiday would go on that we could just forget our troubles a little bit longer. Anyway, I wanted to say thank you to a Vinyl Community member who does not make videos. Um, his handle is Katon W. Dupina. He named himself after the the black lead singer of a punk band. Oh, it's escaping me now. I knew that Hyrax, Hyrax. I'm pretty sure that's the band. But his name is James. And James is someone who this year has been very kind to me and sent me things at different times. Earlier this year, he sent me this. He sent me Enslaved. I had to show it after I blanked it up. I, I, I predict that we'll be hearing the word Blake from a lot of people in 2012. I predict that unless the bottom completely falls out of the economy, many of you record collectors are going to be getting these Blake sleeves you'll you'll be transformed but anyway what I'm saying is that James Katon W. DePena was so kind and he sent sent me a, another package it was perfect it arrived on Christmas Eve so and it was uh, gift wrapped as well and there was one in there for Jeff so I'm looking here where I put it I must have put it okay James thank you so much um, uh, I'm honored. He sent me Rashomon, and this is Ashcan copy. Rashomon is uh, the project by one of the members of the band Guapo. I know Sequoia Flame has some Guapo. I've got some on the computer, but I've never seen a Guapo record. I'd have it if I ever saw them. But this is um, film music, literally music that he wrote for some films. It's really good. James, you're right. This is Derek music without a doubt. It's instrumental. It's all over the place. It's moody. It's contrasting. It's really good. It's um, limited edition of, oh shoot, you can't see it, of 150 copies. You can't see that, can you? I have number 40 out of 150 copies of this of this album. James, I am so, so pleased. Thank you so much. Um, let me continue to show that it's beautiful, marbled, uh, clear vinyl. As you can see, it's got that smoky, um, marble going through it. And this is really good. I've played this already all the way through, all the way through twice already. And partially again, really like this. I like the band Guapo too. So uh, I hope I can come across some Guapo vinyl. I've never seen any Guapo. So James sent me this. He also sent me a CD by Desert Shore. And this features Mark Kozalek, who was originally in Red House Painters. Now, I had lost track of Red House Painters and what he did after that. I apparently had a band after that I don't, I don't know anything about. But this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Especially starting with track number three is where it really kicks in for my taste. I started to listen to the words... And then I stopped because, again, for me, the words just don't matter. They really don't. Either the music's there or it isn't, you know. I, I think that, you know, we like stories and people like words, but we get fooled by words. It's not the words. It's the music. It's the texture. It's the whole package that means something. 
to me anyway. And this is gorgeous. James also uh, packaged up something for Jeff. I, it's it's uh, it's so nice because it's um, gift wrapped. So Jeff, when I see you, I'm, I'm I've got it. Okay, I've got it set right over here. But thank you um, so much, Katon W. D. Pena. This year has been an amazing year in that sense, and it just goes on. Um, Christmas Day was great. I spent it with my brother and my adopted brothers, Gary Beck and Gary Foster. We had a jam session over at Gary's, and that was kind of fun. I got a little frustrated, to be honest with you, because I'm a little frustrated with my brother. I love my brother Patrick, but all he can play is jazz. And if he's so damn good, why can't he play anything else? And I kind of let that be known yesterday, because we were playing some cool stuff, and then we get into this supper club shit, you know, like Wave and Girl From Ipanema, and those are good songs, but... It made me feel like I'm in a supper club, and it's like, you know, I want to jam out and bust out and something, and can't do it with my brother Patrick. He can't he can't do it, you know, so I just thought I'd break on his ass one minute. It was good to see him, though. Um, I got something in the mail. I bought it, but it's like a Christmas gift, and it came on Christmas Eve, so I'm going to consider it a Christmas gift to myself. Now, there's a connection to the vinyl community because I got tipped off on picking up on this deal from Cool Ranch Dressing. So thank you, uh, River and Shelly. Thank you very much. Because Christmas Eve, my opus, live at Albert, is it, um, in concert at the Royal Albert Hall, came. And thanks to you guys... You guys and gal, guy and gal, boy and girl, you know what I mean, folks. You all personal messaged me and told me that this was going. They had a special deal on these uh, from Roadrunner Records for 50 bucks. Free postage, $49.99. I jumped on that like that. And thank you so much for letting me know, uh, folks. Thank you. And uh, they got it, you know, I, it didn't occur to me until it got to me that that they were smart in making this available at that at that discount for a Christmas gift. Isn't this one? Oh, what a wonderful box. So here we go. Yeah, I blake these babies up right away. It's two double albums. So there's four albums, the entire concert um, on vinyl. Oh, these are these are nice. I'm not gonna open them, but I got them blaked up. So we get the two um, we get the two uh, the two concert uh, discs. And oh yeah, that's the back. Okay, yeah, that's the back cover. Okay, and then you also get the uh, two DVDs, the entire concert. Now I already had it. I bought it when it came out on DVD in a different package. But the packaging is so different, I'm going to keep both. But um, this was a real, real nice um, personal Christmas gift to myself. I also wanted to say, because I keep forgetting, to thank um, all of you vinyl uh, community members who have sent me cards. Mr. Fartboy, the uh, card with your daughter. She, she, it's just, just beautiful. She's so beautiful. Um, Sam and um, Mark. And uh, Ticha sent me cards. I may have gotten another card, and those uh, those I remember for sure right away. Thank you, folks. Thank you so much. Um, I guess also along the lines of Christmas, um, when I was out at Gary's, he's a record collector, but mainly he's a record seller. And I only bought one thing, and I was going to buy some classical, but he gave them to me for Christmas. So, so these are Christmas presents too. Boulez conducts Bar Talk, The Wooden Prince, on uh, Columbia Masterworks. And um, apparently this is uh, from a period of time when Columbia thought they could commercially um, present Bar Talk, Boulez, whatever. So you get this coot, this goofy cover. I love Bar Talk, though. I also picked up the Miraculous Mandarin as part of the Boulez conducts Bar Talk series. Um, 
very pleased that I got to see uh, Pierre Boulez conduct the Chicago Symphony last year for his 80th birthday. And on top of that, at the meet and greet, I got to meet him and get my picture taken with Pierre Boulez. If you don't know who Pierre Boulez is, he is significant to um, modern classical contemporary music as a composer, a conductor, and someone who's also bridged the gap between. He also conducted and appears on a Frank Zappa album. Boulez conducts Frank Zappa. If you don't know that, check that out. Pierre Boulez. This one I was very happy to get. I love Alexander Scriabin. And I got Piano Concerto. I have another version of this, but this one I've listened to already. Now, this might... If some of you folks ever see um, used classical albums and you see this label Candida, I'll bet you you'll think it's budget. And I don't know if it was a budget label, but I'll tell you what, the performances on these albums are not budget. I have several things on Candida, and everything I have on this label is excellent. And this is, is excellent. I listened to it last night. I don't know the story behind this label. I don't know if it's supposed to be low budget, but the performances of what I have on Candida are excellent. And so as a result, when I see these cheap, I'm picking them up. And Alexander Scriabin, um, I don't know what period he is. He's after the Romantics and Impressionists, I think. I think he's modern. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, I love Ravel. And I got this, uh, L'Enfant et les Sautelets. Forget it. I need to take French again. I took it in high school. And this is the London Symphony Orchestra conducted by Andre Preben. This is operatic, somewhat. The music is just fantastic, though. And for uh, for you, Blake, um, I'll show the label. I think you've probably got some of these. His Master's Voice, EMI. I'm sure you have some of these in your collection. Really nice pressings. I was talking to my friend, uh, Gary Foster, who is an absolute expert on jazz and classical, truly is. And he was talking about the market for classical music is totally in CDs. Uh, records, um, value-wise, are, are not as sustainable as other stuff with classical listeners. They want it on CD for the pristine quality of the digital. But I also picked this up. This is the Piano Concerto for the Left Hand. Again, I have another version of this, but one of the reasons I picked this up is because it's on Philips. It's an import. Philips, as you know, is a household name for electronics, but for a reason, because of the high quality of the pressings. And so I picked this up for, again, the high quality import pressing. So I'm going to stop there, get this online. Thank you again, James, Katon W. Dupena. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Bonnet Community, for an incredible year. Who knows what 12, 2012 is going to be like. I predict 2012 is going to be interesting. And for a number of reasons, because of the continued economy, economic crap, because it's an election year. On top of that, all this madness about the Mayan calendar, who knows what significance that has, if any. But believe me, we will experience things merely because of the knowledge of the Mayan calendar. There's going to be some foolishness in 2012. And I do mean foolishness. There's going to be some foolishness in 2012 behind people's um, superstitious, crazy thinking about things that we don't know. Oh, the world's going to end. We don't know. We can't know. We should go on about our business. So um, I'm not going to be saying this is my last video because you all know I like to make videos. I don't know what the last one will be. I'll say this one. This might be my last purchase of 2011. Because this is the last week of the, this is the last few days. This is it for the, the, the year. And I'm, I'm broke, honestly. And I'm holding on to my pennies, even though I have people who are, are got my back on the Derek 3 vinyl project. Whenever I go into a work mode like this, my attitude changes and I hold on, getting ready to do business, you know. And that's why I'm not a businessman, because I don't want to be like this. I want to be chill. But I'm holding on to my pennies, getting ready to make things happen, you know what I'm saying? So this might be my last purchase of the year. We'll see. But boy, what a purchase. Look at that. Opeth. Have a good one, everybody.